Hi, good evening. Um, this morning, I couldn't do my um, team news for the Leicester City Arsenal game. However, um, I kept an eye on my phone while I was working at Crystal Palace Football Club as a steward on the outside of the stadium. Now, Crystal Palace Football Club are not the only ones that um, deploy their stewards to work outside their home grounds. Every club up and down the world would do the same in club world football and sadly and you know despite the odd idiots asking stupid questions whether they're driving or passing by our crystal palace plane well if, if they weren't playing why would we be standing outside the stadium in a pandemic can i ask you members of the public to use your brains before you open your mouth. Other than that, um, yeah, I kept an eye on Arsenal. Um, pleased that we won 3 1. I would like to re watch that game to do my player ratings if I can. I will give you a player ratings um, tomorrow or as soon as I can possibly get it. Other than that, um, hope, um, hope you're all good. Hope you're all watching all over the world. Places like um, India. Anyone watching in India? Shout you out. Um, can I shout out um, Trinidad and Tobago? Can I shout out uh, Can I shout out France? Anyone watching in France? Can I shout out anyone? Can I shout out for anyone who's watching in Spain? Is anyone watching in... Um, Is anyone watching in Greece? Is anybody watching in um, Brazil? Is anyone watching in Uruguay? Is anyone watching in Mexico? Is anyone watching in Cuba? Is anyone watching in um, New Zealand? Is anybody watching in... Um, Peru, or could you be watching in Venezuela? Is anyone watching in um, Malawi? Is anyone watching in Algeria? Anyone watching in Turkey? Or anyone watching in um, Chad? Shout out to the Chad, the people of Chad. Anyone watching in Yemen? Or is anybody watching in Panama? Anyone watching in Syria? All you Arsenal fans and football fans watching all over the world. Big up yourselves, yeah. Um, feel free to smash the thumbs up like button. Feel free to share this channel all over the world. Um, if you've got an opinion, a reaction to your team or to the Arsenal's result against Leicester and the performances... Leave it in the comment section below and do help me to subscribe to my channel, please. That's myself and I only DLG repping. Yes, that's DLG Dele London Guna repping Romeo Echo Papa Papa Indigo November. And speaking of subscribers, I'm gonna shout out to a lady that um was my personal trainer for about a couple of months. Her name's Lizzie Hung. Shout out to yourself, Lizzie Hung, yeah? Um, you may be listening, you may be asleep, and the little man may be put to sleep as well, yeah? But shout out to yourself, yeah? Big up, Lizzie Hung. Um, check her out, um, I think, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, personal fitness trainer. And um, she is um, an amazing... Um, personal yeah she's an amazing personal um, trainer you know um, it was an honour to be yeah, it was an honour and a pleasure to um, be trained by her she's very down to detail big up yourself Lizzie Hung and thank you for subscribing to my channel and um, spread the word to your friends and your family all over other than that I've got um, 
a contact to get through. And it's um, on a sad note that former West Ham, Newcastle United, Norwich and Watford manager, Glenn Roda, um, sadly lost his life due, due to a long illness. Um, I don't know what exactly has caused him to lose his life, but he's he's passed away at the age of 65 and it's, it's tragic and um sad and i feel for for everyone that knew him through friends and family so condolences to you lot who knew him you know and um professional colleagues who worked closely with him i mean i remember him from his time at west ham um he did everything he could to um, prevent West Ham from being relegated from the Premier League. He may have been the manager when West Ham drew 2 all with Man City, but Bolton won their game 2-1 and um, he did everything possible to help West Ham avoid relegation and the, input, um, the financial impotence that um, would have been involved. So, massive shout out to... Yeah, so... Um, Rest in peace, um, Glenn Roda. I'm going to read um, the article. <clears throat> Former West Ham boss Roda dies age 65, which is written in yellow writing as the head title. Um, Glenn Ro Former we sorry, former Watford, West Ham United, Newcastle United and Norwich City boss Glenn Roda has died age 65 after a long illness. The League Managers Association has announced Rhoda, who was a defender during his playing days, began his managerial career with a spell in charge at Gillingham. Um, Gillingham fans, West Ham, Watford, Norwich and Newcastle United fans, um, if you can, you can come onto my channel, um, leave your memories, your thoughts, your condolences, etc, etc. In my comment section below and while you're doing that smash the thumbs up like button um share the video and um do um subscribe to dlg repping please which is myself and i only yeah give us your memories of um glenn roder in the best and full knowledge as possible he was also a coach in the england setup when glenn hoddle was manager yes that's very true he worked um, very closely with Glenn Hoddle. The LMA said it was very deep. It was very deeply saddened at Rhoda's death after a long battle with a brain tumor. Oh, poor guy! Gosh, you know I am for. I am for the underdog beating any type of illness no matter what it is and um i'm for the miracles but for me glimmer yeah for me um after what the doctors have done after what the nurses have done sadly um he didn't make it through and um, it's such a shame that he's lost his life at the age of 65 glenn Roda. all i can say is my thoughts are with his friends and family at such a tragic um, time and um, football will remember him for the person he was and the character or the person and the um, gentleman that he was in the game and um, it's just such a sad shame that um, he's no longer with us so once again rest in peace Glenn Roder alright moving on to um Sunday's gossip column. Okay. Oops. What's going on here? Oh, do excuse me. Oh, there we go. Can get there in the end. So, Leicester City are in advance. In, sorry, Leicester City are in advanced talks over a new deal for 23-year-old England winger Harvey Barnes, who has been watched by Liverpool and Man United, um, according to what's been said 
from the Sunday Mirror. I don't know who's written that story, obviously, but I'm just reading it from the BBC Interactive um, page. Um, for me, he's had a fabulous season. This is just one fabulous season. And um, I think he should stay at Leicester for the foreseeable future. Leicester City, they've got a football team to be proud of. They're challenging in the top four um, places for, you know, for a spot in the Champions League. And maybe next season, Leicester can be serious title contenders, you know. They just could be serious title contenders. And match Man City and Liverpool, you know. Right, Man City spending is ridiculous and... It is irrelevant when Liverpool won the, the league title last season. So, whatever Man City will spend is irrelevant until they um, bed in and um, do the business, really, individually and collective as a team. But um, Leicester City are an emerging strong force in the Premier League and... Um, uh, an exciting team in um, in Europe. It's just such a sad shame that they've lost to Slavia Prague, and they're out of the Europa League. But they've still got. Um, I think they've got U a European place to look forward to next season. I believe they'll be in the Champions League, or at least in the qualification stages. And um, yeah, the disappointing defeat to um, Arsenal has um, left them um, in the balance of um, not finishing in the automatic. Um, Places, but I feel that they'll be all right, and Harvey Barnes um, will get a new deal, and I think he will sign. And I think it's best for him to stay at Leicester for the foreseeable future, at least a minimum of two more seasons. That's my personal opinion on Harvey Barnes. Liverpool are lining up Rangers and former Reds captain Steven Gerrard to replace Jurgen Klopp, who could be tempted to become Germany's new manager if the job becomes available again. Sunday Mirror here. I wonder where they're getting that story. I mean, deep down inside and in, on the outside, Jurgen Klopp is more than happy to remain as Liverpool manager for the foreseeable future. All right, moving on. Man United will have to pay Uruguay striker Edison, Edison Cavani 1.75 million if they do not trigger the option of a further year to the 34-year-old to deal with them. And that's someone written from the Times now for me. At 34, he's not getting any younger, you know, but he still does the job. And um, he does the job, especially when he's... Um, he's yeah, he does the job as what an all, what an all round striker would do. And he, he can only do what's required of him, and that's getting goals and being in the right place in the right time. Man City manager Pep Guardiola... Pep Guardiola's uneasy relationship with agent Mino Viola will not prevent the club from trying to sign his 20-year-old client Norway striker Erdan Braun Holland from Borussia Dortmund. Sunday Mirror again. They're picking up some big stories here, aren't they? Argentinian striker L um, Luturo Martinez says he has held talks with Barcelona, but they but that has but that they sorry but. That they are in the past, and he is going to sign a contract extension with Inter Milan. Gazzetta dello Sport via goal. Well, it it leads to be true, and um, wait, what, what, what am I saying? It seems to be true, and you know the story. I don't. I haven't followed them. The two and Martinez as such. I've seen in Europa League last season, and that guy could score goals, and I can see why Inter Milan love this guy really highly. Everton are monitoring 19-year-old Senegal forward Abdullah Sima, who plays for Slavia Prague. Mm, this is an interesting one. I mean, I think he may have scored um, one of the two goals against Leicester City, if I'm not sadly mistaken. Um, Leicester City fans, do you remember the Slavia Prague goal scorers? And is there a Slavia Prague player that could um, possibly follow the suit of... Um, Sofal of West Ham, the right back, and West Ham and Czech Republic and attacking midfielder um, Susek. Leave it in the comment section below. Arsenal, Celtic and Rangers are among number of clubs interested in 19-year-old Wigan and Scotland under-19 striker Carl Joseph 
whose contract runs out in the summer. Okay, so he's he's 19 years old. Um, capped by Scotland under 19. In his contract at Wigan runs out. So this is this is another young player who's applying his trade um, two divisions outside the Premier League and is highly thought of. Although he could end up in the SPL next season with either Celtic or Rangers. Not bad for some choices. And then he can end up in North London at Arsenal. That we do not know. Juventus are looking at signing Leon's Dutch forward Memphis Depay. 27 and the 26 and 26 year old striker Akadius Milek, who is on loan at Marseille from Napoli. Wow, the pie. I mean, this is the guy who was a Manchester United um, player. Um, he didn't do too bad, he looked a talent, but I don't think um, the surroundings in Manchester. Um, was sort of his liking. I don't think he settled in Manchester that well. I think he was possibly homesick and um, he decided that he would like to seek a move, well, seek a move um, elsewhere as a challenge and um, he's at Leon and he's settled there. And um, now he's got Juventus looking at him. I think there is a good player in Memphis Depay, but um, for me, I don't know what he's going to do, but it's entirely up to him. Now, I keep hearing about this um, Polish striker, um, Napoli and Poland international striker, um, Akadius Milek. Now, I've not seen too much of him, but I can tell that he sounds like he's highly rated. So we'll just have to see how that um, pans out. Otherwise, um, this is the end of my um, channel. For this evening yeah this is my first and only video for today but it's better than nothing and um allow me to say ladies to the gentlemen to the boys to the girls thank you for listening thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching as well as putting up with me as you always do i appreciate their patience and the love and timing etc i'll be back um tomorrow afternoon um with another stream And um, sorry about that, I thought I heard a little, a little bit of a noise, but no, I must be hearing things. And um, I look forward to um, trying to um, get, um, yeah, well, trying to watch the Arsenal game back and giving my own um, player ratings, as I always do, as well as the manager and the ref. Um, remember... Um, leave your opinions, your thoughts, your reaction in my comment section below, especially to Glen Rhoda. You know, um, Newcastle, Watford, West Ham, Norwich City fans, Gillingham fans, you're all and all football fans who remember the gentleman and football manager himself, Glen Rhoda. You're all more than welcome to come into my channel and leave your and leave um, your thoughts in my comment section below and what you remember get about Glen Rhoda. Leave it in the comment section below. Smash the thumbs up like button for me abundantly. Share um, this channel abundantly all over the world to your friends and your family. And um, please help me to subscribe to my channel. That's myself and I, the one and only DLG Repping. I'll be back tomorrow. Um, it's good night from London, England, to wherever you're watching around the world. And um, peace again, love again, bless again, as always. Do have a nice rest. Enjoy what you're doing, whether you're watching TV or having a meal. Do it nicely, stay safe, and always be nice.